In this video, we'll go through the store settings. So when you're logged into Printful, scroll down until you see settings and then stores. There's something above where I am right now is just private information. So it will be something above. If you scroll down a little bit, you will now see the store default selling preferences. So if you only want to ship to the US, you can pick US. I'm going to say worldwide here and I'm going to let Printful include and calculate the shipping prices. So I'll leave it up to the customers to see if they are willing to pay whatever amount that is to ship to them. So they are responsible for paying for shipping, but I'm going to deal with all of that here by going through the settings. So I'm going to say worldwide and it's important that in my terms and conditions for my store, I do say that I ship worldwide to where the products are being sold. So some products may not be sold to everybody, but they'll know this throughout the checkout process. So I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to move down to orders. So because of COVID, I'm leaving this here. I think that's fine. This is important to know the way Printful works. If somebody puts in an order today, right now, typically there's a short delay of maybe about half an hour where should there be an issue and the customer emails you back, you have time to change the order if it's the shipping address or perhaps the size of the t-shirt they ordered. But after that, the order is automatically sent to Printful. That's the default configuration. If you want to manually confirm the orders, you would have to change those settings here. I recommend you leave it to automatically happen. For sync as you go, you may want to review this information here and possibly select the automatic stock update. So if it's no longer in stock for over 24 hours, then your store on your WordPress site will know and will mark those variations. Let's say it's a small t-shirt in red that's not available, but the medium is still available. They would take care of updating those, syncing them with your site. So that's perhaps the one that some people may be interested in using. Then you save your changes. Product alternatives is something that you should be aware of. By default, it will use product alternatives for your orders. So for example, let's say you pick t-shirt A from American Eagle and you only want that t-shirt because you feel this is the only quality you will accept, then you will want to uncheck this box to make sure that people will only order that. So if you leave this checked, it does recommend here that you include that in your terms and conditions because you don't want to upset your customers. So I'm going to save that. And in the bottom here, it's asking about languages. My site is only English, so I don't need to worry about that. That's only important if you have a site in a different language. Going down here, the API is fine. I'm not going to show you that because it has private information. On shipping, I'm going to enable the live shipping rates for my storefront. I will not be offering free shipping because that would be my cost. So I'm not going to do that, but feel free to do that if you wanted to. I'm going to save. Standard shipping here, they're offering certain things. If people are willing to pay for those services, it's up to you. You can remove some options if you wanted to. This is fine. In order for this to work, you also need to make a change on the website itself. You will need to go to WooCommerce, Settings, and then Shipping. You will now see that we have Printful Shipping available in blue right below the tabs. I need to enable this shipping method in order for WooCommerce to be able to sync with Printful and get the prices based on the customer's shipping address. This is in case you ship other things. So for example, if you offer signed paperbacks that you sign and you take to the post office and you ship you would likely have shipping rates set up for those signed paperbacks. So we want to disable those when it's a Printful order so that Printful is using their own shipping rates. They are the ones shipping from wherever that item is being printed and produced. So I'm going to save my changes here. And then go back to my settings here. I will continue going through. Now we have branding. 
So that is my store. If you wanted to upload a three by two black and white logo, that is optional. I'm not gonna include a phone number because I don't want customers to call me. And if you wanted to, you could give a discount code here or encourage sharing on social media. So I created a personalized message here. Again, the logo here, it's warning us if you don't personalize it, there won't be any printful branding. So don't feel like you have to create those. Feel free to include social media accounts. And I will include a link to my shop here. There's a button that will point to my website store. I'm going to save that. Now for returns, they will be sent back to whoever printed them. So that's the default way to process returns. Make sure to read this so that you know what happens should an order not get delivered correctly. And last but not least, if you go down to the notifications area, I recommend you review all of the various accounts, orders and products and updates tabs here uh, to see if you want to get emails for certain things. Uh, for example, if you're new to Printful, you may want to sign up for their emails to learn more about how to do things with Printful, if you want to learn more about which products that you should sell. But here it's important to be aware of problems with your orders, with shipments, with products. So by default, emails is checked, but you could also view those errors within your dashboard here or an app. But I am an email person. I use my email inbox as my to-do list. So email for me is the way to go. But review those settings, adjust them as you see fit. So that's it for the default store settings in Printful.